project on Infus database, connecting Infus database with Python client library to read and write data by Karthik A. N. P. and Sharad Khan. Introduction. Although time series data can be stored in MySQL and PostgreSQL SQL database, that's not particularly efficient. If we want to store data that changes every minute, that, that's more than half a million data points a year from potentially thousands of different sensors, servers, containers or devices, you are inevitably going to run into scalability issue. Querying or performing aggregation on this data also leads to performance issue when using relational databases. A time series database, on the other hand, is optimized to store time series data points. This is particularly useful in situations like analyzing financial trends in stock prices, sales forecasting, monitoring the logs and metrics of an API or web service, monitoring the sensor data from your car or your plane for safety purpose, tracking power usage in IoT devices such as smart power grid, tracking an athlete's vital and performance during a game. Influx DB has created an open source time series database that makes it easier for developers to work with time series data. Why use Influx DB? Influx DB comes with a pre built dashboard where you can analyze your time series data without much groundwork. And let's not forget that it, it outperforms Elasticsearch and Cassandra. It has a free open source version you can run locally, and there's a cloud version that supports major cloud services such as Amazon Web Service, Google Cloud Platform, and Azure. Before starting, make sure you have installed Python. I have installed Python. Python. My, my Python version is 3.1.3. Then put InfluxDB. Go to this link. In platform, I have Windows platform. So I select Windows binary 64 bit using PowerShell. Then it will show up PowerShell commands. Just first copy the first link, copy it and type PowerShell. It shows. Just paste it. After hitting enter, your file will be downloaded. Then I have already installed Influx database in my D drive. So in my command prompt, I'll go to D drive, then I will change, uh, I'll copy the I will copy this path and change direct, change directory, change, then I'm going to run influx db, influx d. My interest database start running. If you want to check, go to Google Chrome. Type 127.0.086. And I have already created username and password. I'm just entering in. This is this is the dashboard or interest database. We can use command line. Python, Node.js, Go. In Influx DB, buckets are called databases. Here, here only we can add our database. I already created NITK, a database, and it is the data explorer. Here only we can we can visualize our data. Now, what is our aim? To use the Influx DB Python client library to integrate Influx DB into Python scripts and applications. So. First, we need to. Uh, I am open another command prompt. If we, if we want to, uh, we are using version. We are using the version InfluxDB 2.x. If it is one, then you want to install InfluxDB. If install InfluxDB. If it, we are using version 2.x, so, uh, uh, so Python client library is InfluxDB client. I have already installed the influx db client, so it's no it's no use. It's already installed. I have already 
we are going to write some data in line protocol using python library in our python program in import influx db client and use it to write data to influx database define a few variables with the name bucket all token and url we can generate token by this method go to this go to the second option here here is a here is the menu called api token just select it you go through you can generate api token i already generated my api token so i have, i have this token our url is localhost and port is 806 our bucket uh, that is our database is nitk and when i created that uh, influx db I, I, I kept the name organization as nit then inside the client the influx db client object takes three names parameters url organ token pass in named parameters pass in named parameters influx db client object as write api method used for configuration Initiate a write client using the client object and the write api method. Use the write api method to configure writer object. Create a point object and write it to influx db using write method of the api writer object. The write method requires three parameters bucket, organ record. This is our example script. I am going to run this. Yeah, it's completed. What is what what we have made in bucket NITK go to measurement, then tag building data center, and I kept temperature as 40. Go to the dashboard, go to data explorer, we have NITK and search measurement. Yeah, this is measurement, then temperature, then data center just submit it you can see the temperature 40 this is how you can you can import data you, this is how we can send data to influx database using python script now now we are going to re read the data from influx db as we see before the same bucket or token url is used for to read because it's same for both things but now initiate the query client create flux query then format it as a python string this is the query then we format this python string by putting colon the query client sends the flux query to influx db and returns a flux object with the table structure this query will return flux object with the table structure it to the tables and records in the flux object and get the field and values use the get value method to return value use the get fields method to return fields this is our example script i am going to run it yes we have read temperature 40 what we what we write in a influx db we have read in here here i can here first here i can change the temperature to 60 let's delete it and run yeah it's written we can check in influx database forty to sixty see from forty to sixty it created now we can read go to visual studio code and read we can delete this terminal and we can now we can run this what is the output we can see see temperature 40 temperature 60 then we can we can do another example we can now we can put 100 thousand let it be thousand we can check what is going to happen we can delete this yeah we wrote just go to dashboard and submit yes thousand it shows thousand from here here is it should be four it should be around 60 then it is thousand one k now we can read data from our file read it it read just delete this terminal run yeah 
you have 40 60000 this is this is the thing in in a create read update delete we have done two things write and read some practical use cases of time series databases are <coughs> Yeah, time series database to store stock values so you could analyze historical stock price and forecast future values however you could also work with IoT devices sales data and any other data series which is time varying InfluxDB open source time series database got lot of client libraries for 10 different programming languages including C++, JavaScript, Java, Python etc it also got lot of built in visualization tools if you want to explore then go to InfluxDB time series database link then you can explore here how what are the things you can do in with the time series database InfluxDB thank you